about the overwhelming reaction of the people who have already watched it. Well, that's the key word. No? I'm overwhelmed. Of course, you hope for the best. But it was one of the biggest risks I took in my career. It's one of the biggest risks that the network also invested in. No one knew how it's going to be accepted or how people react to it because, of course, it's a cultural line mind because you're dealing with Walter Spy that has been so beloved by generations. So if you don't do it right, there's no way back down or it's gonna explode in your face. But when we came up with the mega trailer, I think it was a good indication, not only locally, but globally when the reaction was coming in. I said, okay, parang may laban tayo, uh, parang magugustuhan. And thankfully, from the cinematic experience to the pilot, we saw that it is being accepted and uh, we're glad that it's rating as well as it is. Naging fan ka ba direct of Walter's Five? Oh yes, oh yes. I don't think I could pull this off if I wasn't a rabid fan to begin with. Growing up, I was really into sci-fi, I was geeky, nerdy. And then Walter's Five was one of the animes that really stuck to my head. I mean, I knew the episode from beginning to until it's cut off. You know, I like Daimos, Wazinger Z, Grandizer, all of those. Pero one that really embedded in my soul was Walter's Five. The thought of putting up a live action came around. I really wanted to give it a shot. And I'm just glad that the stars aligned and I was able to find creatures of like mind and like passion that was able to help me put together Voltus 5. Na pressure ka ba direct? Ano yung pressure na dinaanan mo doon and how did you prepare for it? The biggest thing that convinced me to do it was when I saw that Riot can do the CGI back then. I said, okay, that's half the battle. The, mm -hmm. the half is the live action. Mm -hmm. Which I felt that I could pull off. And then JMA graphics came in and then all the more I was confident that the other side of the CGI, because Riot handled the robot sequences, mm -hmm. everything else that you see is uh, JMA video graphics. The minute we were starting to world build, I thought that okay, the video graphics, the CGI will be okay now to work on the live action from the costume to the characters to everything. My favorite scene or scenes kabasa. Walter's Five oh, Legacy. The flight training is my favorite because, you know, but it was piping hot in Subic. We were on the tarmac. They, were, they had to act like, you know, Top Gun and walk like that. But the minute that they go off camp, too big, too big, too big. Tago tayo, sa tago tayo. So it's really difficult. How do you handle setbacks and bashers? Ah, well, for setbacks, you just learn from it and move on. You know, that's the only way. You know, don't dwell on it. You study what went wrong. How do I improve next time? And you move forward. With Voltus 5, I knew coming in that people will find ways to bash it because it is so popular, it is so beloved that anything I do that they don't like, they will bash. Anything I do wrong or anything below par, they will bash. But with Voltus 5, there are bashers, mm -hmm. but there are more supporters. Stronger Together, the GMA Pinoy TV Podcast Season 3. Hosted by Tony Pua. Now available on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and the GMA Pinoy TV Facebook page.